Hi there, signs of Leo. This is Kim, and this is your next 48-hour reading. Hope you're doing really good. This should cover kind of like the end of May and maybe the beginning of June, too. Is this just a next 48-hour, though? It applies to what it feels like it applies to. So we are channeling pure love. Pure love from your angels, your spirit guides yourself with the loving intention that all these messages are for Leo's highest good. Osho Zen Tarot is what I'm using and I think I'm going to be drawn to a Celtic cross. And we might draw some Oracle too. It just depends on the Celtic cross. If it's something that's going to be challenging then we'll have to Clarify a lot. <clears throat> Messages for Leo. I know. I've done it a lot, right? But I'm thinking, okay, really well prepared. <laughs> really, really well prepared. Or you're making sure you're really well, well prepared. There's transformation, big change transformation with you, who you are. You know, transformation, oh, on so many levels too. Wow. This transformation that's happening here, dear Leo, is something that everybody else can see too. So you've got the tower energy as your issue, but, you know, with it coming out with transformation, something's going to transform. It may shake up things. Things may feel shook up. It feels like you're getting awakenings on every level here. These are epiphanies to me. Um, these lightning strikes. Truth. The challenge. Okay. Yeah, you're really aware. Ooh, will of fortune for you. Careful with that, too, for the outcome, please. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad. Um, We are going to do some clarifying because there is something that... Okay, like what I was saying when I was shuffling the cards is something about really um, mm, preparing. Preparing... To the point of almost over-preparing before moving forward. But you're feeling like moving forward. There may be sudden abrupt change that spins you forward. That propels you forward. Um, there's something that we've been putting off that we're not going to be able to put off here. And I think that's part of the tower energy. So we will we'll definitely clarify Do I want to use this one or do I want to use the other? I think I'm going to use this one. Okay, so Scorpio, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo. This is the um, Sun card and it's in the reverse has to do with your energy you have another card warning you about your energy here your energy levels what aren't we seeing clear and what do we need to really pull our energy from possibly karmic past life situation moon an inability to see something clear the challenge is to see something clearly for what it is can you see something for what it is instead of the trauma bonds or the ties that you have with other people? Tell me about the um, sun in reverse. Because for some reason it's like, okay, out of energy. 
out of energy. Hmm. Somebody at the heart of the matter, it's about walking away or leaving a situation emotionally, trying to detach from a situation. It's very emotional, the one that we're leaving behind, but that's somewhat of a disaster. It's like your bags have been packed for a little while. Just don't have any more energy for this because this is coming to a completion. It's a karmic situation. At least for this reading, it is. If you've come to here and, and that feels like it resonates with you, um, there also could be a shakeup in your career when you finally just see something clearly and you realize, I don't like this anymore. <laughs> or this is really not for me. You know? Having all the information is going to be necessary because where there's a lack of information, I sometimes feel like there may be some fears lingering in this uh, future energy too. So, okay, so we're emotionally detaching or we're physically leaving. Somebody's really in need for a vacation. I know we all really should be in getting vacations, but... There's something about using a lot of your energy here. Eight of Cups, Piscean Energy. Tell me about the Moon card here or the Past Lives card. In the past. The Nine of Cups. This is balancing what you want and having it all <laughs> it's like okay it's 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 giving me that careful what you wish for um some of the things that are coming around are things that we have wished for or feeling like we had access to our nine of cups in the past like an unknown emotion left in the past Or situation feeling tell me more about um, the tower then Piscean energy twice three times Pisces 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 so with the Scorpio which is Scorpio 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 tell me about that Thunderbolt So it might have to do with sudden change, abrupt change. Um, that has to do with work, possibly. Or that is the changes coming in, in your work. Seeing clearly what works and what doesn't. It's like there you find the lesson. Being brave, being bold, asserting yourself. Something works out here. It, it's gonna, it feels like it's going to cause a shakeup, but it does work out. You already have a eight in your reading here, Leos. So work, it might be the challenge. Maybe there's some unknowns with work that we can't see clearly and that is bothering us at this time. And there may be something that just feels a little shaky. It might be regarding balancing, balancing you know, money, checkbook, ideas, <laughs> jobs. Living here in the now moment is really important more now than ever with the two, a pentacle and the reverse. Um, there's some kind of change too. There's some kind of change. If we go with the flow, there would be some kind of change. Okay, so live in the here and now and instead of living possibly in the past, All right, so I have the chariot here as your energy here, Leo. So that is a victory. Um, if you want it, it's still a ways to go. You still have things, or hurdles to jump, bridges to cross. Moving out of stagnation. 
coming out of your um, wherever it is that we feel suppressed or oppressed, building back our confidence. There's a need to do our research too. And there's some kind of delay with money. I feel like it's just a delay though. I don't think you have to worry about it because the money kind of looks good with this King of Pentacle energy. So there it could be a Virgo that's kind of let us down here or something in our past that affected our self-esteem. So now this is about maybe regaining self-esteem, confidence in your work and ability. Because we're mastering a skill, we're doing really good here. Could be doing really, really good in um, entrepreneurship with a business, financial, being able to support, you know, a family. Um, tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Because this is bringing in a new cycle for Leos. Queen of Cups in the reverse means you've got to be open and ready to receive it and take care of yourself really well. So here's the new cycle. It's all about focus on your health and a focus of what you put into your body to help you see clearly. That's what that's trying to say. There's a, there's a, a time to change something, change something up from the way that we've been treating ourselves in the past. And that's cancer, cancer. So tell us more about, um, tell us more about this. Queen of Pentacle, awareness, not getting the whole truth, possibly from a Capricorn or somebody that represents a Queen of Pentacle energy. Queen of Pentacle and the King of Pentacle. That's the masculine and feminine. So it's like you're you're doing it all here, Leah, basically. You're doing it all. And that might be making something off balance with whatever is going on in your situation. Because you can't do all. But we are doing it all. And after a while, that will lead to burnout. So... Let's find out more about this burnout energy, the 10 of wands in reverse. Something's got to lighten your load. Ah, Empress energy in the reverse. Mother issues, mother healing. Focus on self-care. Focus on you. Only when you can truly love yourself can you take care of others and, and uh, properly love to others. Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords, what that, what is that about? Ooh, that Five of Pentacle in reverse, so that's really good. Hmm. It's something about your change and your transformation having to do with you releasing uh, all these, like, attachments it whether it's a attachment to um an addiction or a person or like a codependent relationship something like that this is coming out of that time it feels like coming out of isolation um not feeling quite so alone getting more information will help you get out of this temporary hardship that you're possibly in right here um but the five of pentacles is it's in the reverse. That's what you want to see. So it's like rising from rags to riches is what that five of pentacles is representing to me in the reverse. Nice. More information. Tell me about this more information so that you stop worrying so much, possibly about a Gemini or Aquarius energy so that you stop worrying so much and that you focus more on solutions instead of the worry. That's a nice message. That's a nice message. Healing. There's something that needs to be healed and you need to stand up for what you want. You do have a voice, but we're not using it with the eight of wands in reverse. There's something about communication. Oh, 
waiting on news, taking a time out and just not talking at the moment. And it's still coming across as rest, rejuvenation, and healing. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Because that is in the reverse. Which is, it could be about you taking good care of your health and feeling less stressed. Yes. That's the new beginning. It has to do, Leo, with this Five of Pentacles. Do you see what I'm saying? From rags, rags to riches. Uh, Leo is what it is. Because it's going from, it's completely new beginning. You're going to have, I feel like your money's going to be so good. It'd be hard to balance it because you're going to have so, you have so much. That's good. I would rather have too much. And really the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So this is all about your change and your transformation. If you can keep up seeing clearly, taking good care of yourself, focusing on self before you truly love others, you have to love yourself. That's kind of what I'm seeing there with that. Yeah. My first rags to riches reading I've ever really read for anybody. <laughs> Yay. So Leo's awesome. Send you love and light. Bye guys.